All right. This session, we are going to cover the pen tool. Yes, the amazing world of the pen tool. Actually, it is really an important tool because this tool is uh, universal across uh, most of Adobe's programs. Let's see, here's Photoshop. Let's see, get the pen tool here in Photoshop. Very important tool in Photoshop for making paths, clipping paths. Um, it's actually used in uh, InDesign as well. Um, you can do paths in InDesign as well. You can clip images like real quick and rough when you're uh, doing layouts, like designing. And most heavily used probably in uh, Illustrator because everything is a vector in Illustrator. Anyway, I'm just going to cover... I have What I have here is three exercises, and what they're going to cover is very basic getting to understand how the pen tool works and how it reacts to different key commands. And Anyway, this these pen tool exercises will explain everything for you. Okay, There's actually three of them. There was one, and then I've sort of altered uh, the exercise, so you do the exercise a second time, and then a third time, and each time is harder. So you're going to find this pen tool little movie you're watching right now, and inside the same folder is pen tool exercise one, two, and three. Three being the hardest, one being the first one, which will be the easiest. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that, and I already have it open, actually, in Illustrator. And across the top here, you'll find a little, uh, it's a legend, basically, and it'll tell you which, uh, you know, little icon stands so you can see, for what? So as you can see here, the little pen tool I have right now is an X beside it, which means start a new path. So basically, I don't have a path started or I don't have a path selected, so I can start a new path. So when we're done the first exercise, you'll see this one close the, closing the path, little circle beside it. Anyway, if you want, you can always refer back to these while you're working on these little exercises. So I'm just going to show you real quick how they work. This is straight lines. This is really, really simple. I'm going to zoom in here, I'm going to select my pen tool. Uh, importantly here is when you open up uh, an Illustrator file, the default is a fill of, zero, of white and a stroke of black. Now we just want a stroke with our pen tool because if I make a shape here, you see it's filling with white and it's going to cover up what's behind it. That's not what I want to do. What I want is to select the pen tool and have a fill of None. There we go. So now when I click on here, see, you won't get it filling with white. So I'm going to start right here. It's very simple. Follow the instructions. One through a numerical order. So one click here, two click here, and you can see how this works. It's just going to put a line along the light gray path. So you just have to hit the dark path. And your lines will connect through the light path. Now, if you want to be more accurate, you can hold down the uh, cap lock key, and that will change your pen tool icon to a crosshair. It just gives you a little more accuracy, and like hitting dead center on these uh, these uh, spots you have to hit. Now, you can see if I show you here, you can see I got the little circle beside my pen tool, which means I'm about to close the path. So there we go, I've closed the path. And I have my perfect star all on this light gray line connected by the dark dots. Now, I'm gonna zoom out here and we'll go over to the next one. That was just straight lines, that's really easy. It gets fun when we get to these curves. This is the basics of the curve. And uh, same idea, I just wanna start on number one and follow along exactly what it says. So click and press your hold down shift key. Okay. Now, while I'm doing that, I go to number two, which says drag to here and release. So there you go. Drag and release just like that. So I clicked, held in the shift, dragged and released. Step three, same thing. Click and press hold here, down shift key something to that effect. Click and press here, hold down the shift key. There you go, I've clicked, holding the shift key, and now again, number four says drag to here and release. There you go. And you can see, this nice arch 
which is inside my gray <coughs> template. So I just keep repeating that over and over here. Shift, click, drag, or click, shift, drag, either way. And now, again, there's my little circle, so I can close my path. And I still have to drag this one out. So there we go. You can click here, that'll click anywhere in the white spot, it'll release your path. You uh, can now see a nice perfect circle all with inside that light gray. I'm going to go ahead and do a couple more. Here is uh, multiple curves. This is pretty easy, getting a little more complicated. Again, just follow along with exactly what it says. Click and press here, hold down shift key, drag and release. This is going to create my first arch. When I click here, now watch, it won't be a perfect arch, as you can see, but I click, press here, hold down the shift key, and I drag, and you watch this. Once I get down here, it's giving me my perfect arch there. Now, same thing. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go. I can go right through this nonstop. Click, shift, drag. Perfect. Here we go. This gets a little trickier now. Click, shift, drag here now there's my curve now I've released I gotta click a second time press directly on the anchor point which you've just created right now I drag down now here's a little extra something when you're dragging down this is what it wants me it wants me to drag down here but to be really accurate if I hold down the shift key you can watch this as soon as I click the shift key it straightens out now if I move far enough you'll see it pop out over here or here It'll pop on the 45s when you hold down your shift key. If you don't have your shift key down, it just goes wherever you want, but if you hold down your shift key, it'll straighten it right out. Now again, repeat that. I click, see, perfect arch. Click a second time, shift, drag down. And again, shift, drag down. I could continue on if I wanted. Um, okay, this one, again, a little more complicated. But it's very easy. One, two, three, just follow the numbers. Click and press here, drag to here. So I'm going to hold down the shift anyway, just so I get a nice straight line. Now click, press here, drag to here, and release. There we go. Now, what it wants me to do is hold down my option key. So that's going to give me this tool right here. And that allows me to select just this handle, and I can take it. Drag it up to here. In fact, I'll just drag it directly on top of my other one. Again, click, shift, drag down to here. It's a decent arch. Yeah. Click my, hold my option key down one more time. Pull this handle, this handle, just the one handle, up to here. Okay, what this allows me to do is when I go to do my next click, it's going to arch over like this. See, I hold, whoops, did that wrong, I was holding down the option button. So click, shift, I can drag this down. Now, see if I don't do this part, option and drag the handle up, and I go and click here, watch what's going to happen, it's going to arch downwards. It's not what I want to do, I have to end this point by option dragging this up. Drag it up here, and shift click and drag. So there you go, there's some arches. So you can carry on here, this is just a little more complicated arches with a straight line and a bottom arch straight line. And then you can go down to this last one, a lot more complicated, because you're gonna have to follow around the outside of this line. Just, just it's, all, it's not that hard, all the numbers are right here to follow exactly what you have to press. So it's just a matter of practicing to get through this. Now what you can do is once you get this done, I would probably suggest if you're fairly new to the pen tool and you struggle through this a bit is to do it you know, a few more times, you know, two, three more times, maybe more, whatever, until you have it down pat. And then you can close off this exercise and you can move on to number two. So I'm gonna open number two here, Illustrator again. 
again, defaults to the white fill, which I don't want, so I'm just going to change that to none. And you can see this time I have no, uh, no type, no copy on here, no, no little hints. So when you do this, you just got to remember there's key sh your, uh, keyboard shortcuts. This one's really easy because there's nothing. It's just a bunch of clicking right on the lines because it's all straight, no curves. Close that off. That was easy. Now, here's a circle. I guess I'll click, shift, drag, and then same thing. Click, shift, drag. The dots are still here, so you can see exactly where you have to drag to. Close it off. There's a pretty decent circle. Let's just skip ahead to our curves with corner points. So click shift drag and click shift drag down here. Option key. See there's no hints this time, so I have to just know it. Click shift drag. Option key, pull that handlebar up. Click shift. Option key, pull that handlebar up. Click shift. Last one. So there you go. That's not too bad. So this allows you to just practice nailing these right along the lines, the light lines, without any hints. Once you get this down pat, do it a few times, move on to this exercise. Now, again, it's just a little more difficult than the second one. Exact same, same exercise, but this time I've taken out some of the points. I gave you the starting points. So click shift drag. Then I gave you the second one. And then after this, you just gotta try and keep keep it in the line. See there I'm perfectly pretty close. Oh see here I forgot to change this to a none fill. You can do that quickly. Okay, so I think the bottom one's about here. Click shift. I'm gonna drag it out until I see my line is right inside there. I'd say this is about halfway up here. I drag it to go there. That looks pretty good. I'm going to close it off right there. It's not too bad. Again, we'll just skip ahead and I'll do one more here. I'll do this one. Okay, so I'm trying to zoom in a bit. Okay, so I'm going to click. Shift, drag it up. All right, here we go again. Click shift. I'm dragging down this time. Again, my option button on this one. Pull that handlebar around. It's about here. Click shift and drag until you can just see your line. Pretty good inside of there. Option key. Pull this up. Do another one here. Shift and drag. Option key again. I'm going to pull this up out of the way. That's right over here. Last one. That looks pretty good. And I'll just finish that off like that. So that's pretty good. You can notice the last area here. I was able just to, to do it without any extra buttons, extra little hints here. So you continue through and you can do the rest of these. And if you can do all these, I would say that you've pretty much mastered the pen tool. And you can move on to trying to do a path on actual images, like a clipping path or a working path. I'm gonna do a little um, tutorial on that as well, so you can look for that one. All right, so I'm gonna end this now. Thank you.